The move we're going to learn today is called a shadow pass, and it looks just like this. There we have it. One more time for you in slow-mo. All right, let me set that down. I love this move. I know I say I love that. Uh, I know I say that about every move, but I particularly love this move. Uh, not only because I'm easily excited, uh, but this is great, good uh, working flair uh, that I think is really impressive. And I think once you get comfortable with this move, you really start to go from just a novice to a more comfortable beginner who's really starting to get your flame moves down. And you can do a lot of fun stuff with this and incorporate it. So it's called a shadow pass because it is a no uh, look catch. So I'm going to set that down. Pick up my practice bottle here. Um, the pointers that I have for you for this, um, one, safety first. You're throwing a bottle uh, essentially at your head. So make sure someone else is in the house. I've hit myself in the head uh, with this more times than I care to admit, uh, which I just did. So um, it helps to have other people around. I've seen people really, when they're starting to learn this one, really clock themselves. So uh, we're going to try and give you pointers so that you don't, um, but still it doesn't hurt to keep other people around for safety reasons. Um, the other thing is uh, you want to, you'll notice when I do it, I really lean forward. I'll come from this angle here and you'll see that I really uh, kind of like I step in and I step forward. I'm not ducking out of the way of it, but it's just giving that a little leeway right over the back of my neck uh, so that I can catch it. The other thing that is I think really helpful, I wish someone would have told me when I was starting, which is um, start just by handing it around your head. Start just by tossing it from, not even tossing, just exchanging from one uh, grip of uh, your hand to the other hand. And then once you're comfortable with that, we're going to go ahead and just do a one inch toss and then a two inch toss until we can get a three inch toss and get a couple more and a little more until we get more comfortable coming all the way across our body here and really seeing how far we can let this one go. I think the secret to getting comfortable with this one is just starting small until you can slightly get bigger and bigger because that's the way you're going to be. The toughest part about this is not looking and still catching it. Your hands got to be in the right position to get a hold of it. And speaking of that position, what we want, I don't want my wrist turned this way to grab it. I really want, um, should be facing. It should be so right like this, put your hand on your side of your head, come away like that. And that's how I want to catch the bottle in these fingers. Um, and so you'll, you'll struggle a little bit learning is your hand uh, back too far, is it uh, too far forward, is it too far out to the side. Uh, but ultimately you want to be able to really get some, some distance on this one because I think it looks uh, more impressive and it'll play in nicely with some of the moves that we're going to have. Uh, there was one other pointer I wanted to say about this shadow pass. Um, and that was, oh, don't try and look at it. Um, not only is it not more impressive, it's going to be insanely more difficult because if you turn your head real quick and try and watch where the catch is going to be, you're not going to catch it. Um, there's, it's just uh, almost impossible for your eyes to catch up and figure out and coordinate where that's going to land. So really just focus on your throw. Like I said, doing these little ones will help, but as you get further and further away, what you want to watch is the throw because by looking at your throw, you're going to know where to put your hand so that we can come all the way out like so. So watch that throw. Make sure someone else is around. Be safe. Good luck with this one. And as always, practice, practice.